I have done quite a lot of massive projects in my time, and none of these would have been possible without one of my favourite Minecraft mods of all time, World Edit. If you're a Minecraft builder and you're not using this mod, you could be saving yourself so much time. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite commands to use with World Edit that I use all the time in building. Let's go! Number 1, the set command. This list goes from the easiest commands all the way up to the more advanced commands. So this one is the easiest but the one I use the absolute most. All you need to do is type slash slash set and then the block you want to replace it to. Let's move on. The number two, slash slash undo. This command is possibly even simpler than the slash slash set command. All you need to do is type slash slash undo and it will undo the last thing that you did. Next are the two types of replace commands, starting with just a simple slash slash replace. All you need to do for this is select your area and type slash slash replace with the thing you want to replace and then the thing that you want to replace it with. Another really useful thing about this command is if it's not a specific block that you want to replace, you can replace a whole group of blocks, for example all solid blocks in this scenario with lava. And the second replace command, which is just as useful but can be used in different ways, is slash slash replace near. For this you type slash slash replace near what you want to replace with what you want to replace it with, or if you just want to replace everything around you in an area with that block, you type slash slash replace and the block you want to replace it with. I'd just like to add as a side note that for all of these commands you can add commas between the blocks you want to replace or set the area to to make it set it to multiple blocks and if you want it to be more of one block than the others you can add percentages as well. Next up is the tool that I personally think is the most useful and most unique of all of the world edit commands and that is the brush command starting with the slash slash brush apply command. All you need to do is type in slash slash brush apply, then the shape that you want to apply to the environment, which can be a sphere, a cylinder, or a cuboid, with the max diameter of these being six, and then type in the block that you want to set it to. Now I prefer the cylinder and the sphere because they can allow you to make enormous elaborate landscapes in just a matter of seconds. For example, this nice mountain range. And this paired with the slash slash replace near command can make it really easy to set this all to stone and then use our next brush command to set the top layer to grass. That next command is the slash slash brush paint command. Now, for this one, all you need to do is slash slash brush paint, and then the shape you want, and then the diameter you want, and then the block you want. And this will only replace the top layer, so it's very useful for just painting grass on top of these landscapes. So those are the two brush commands which I think are the most useful, but we can go a step further and use the slash mask command. So all you need to do is type slash mask and then the block that you want the brush to be able to replace. And that'll be the only block that the brush is able to replace, which means that you don't have to worry about accidentally destroying pre-made structures in the world. Next are the copying and pasting commands. So this includes slash slash copy, slash slash paste, slash slash rotate, and slash slash schematic. Starting with slash slash copy. So all you need to do for this one is type slash slash copy when you've selected an area. But remember that when you type this command, it will paste it from the place that you are standing. So make sure that you're standing in a place that you can remember and that will be convenient for when you're going to paste it in. So, now that we've got it copied, we can go down one of three routes. We can make it into a schematic, just like this, by typing slash slash schem, save, and then the name of the schematic that you want to save it as. And then we can go into a different world and go slash slash schem load, and then the name of the schematic you want to load, which you can then paste into that different world by going slash slash paste. 
Speaking of slash slash paste, that is exactly the next route that we can go down. So my preferred way of doing it is slash slash paste minus A, because that means that it'll paste it without the air blocks, which means if you're pasting it into a more fluid landscape and you don't want hard edges, it can be really useful. And finally, slash slash rotate. Now this command can be really useful just because if you want to flip it into a different direction, then you can do so. So all you need to do is go slash slash rotate and then the angle that you want to rotate it at. Now, 90 degrees or 180 degrees work the best because that'll make it straight, but the others do work, but beware, they're a little bit glitchy, so don't completely rely on world edit for this one. So that's about all I've got time for today, but if you have found this helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to know about any other world edit commands, maybe leave them down in the comments and I might do another video soon. Also before I go, I'd just like to say it really means a lot to me that 500 of you guys have decided to stick around. Like, that is amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!